During those two weeks, I interviewed many persons, Native eyewitnesses, including Gideon Coro. He was an eyewitness of a rare daylight sighting, and there are reasons I have come to a conclusion about why this happened. These seven boys went up to uh, Lake Pung, and they were there for just a short time, within a few minutes. The, within a few minutes of arriving at Lake Pung, in the middle of the day, clear weather, good visibility, a giant rope and flew out over the surface of the lake. No way that these seven boys could mistake it for a flying fox fruit bat. Gideon estimated the tail length was seven meters, and he didn't blink when he told me seven meter. He didn't blink. That doesn't mean necessarily that the flying creature he saw has close to a tail length of seven meters, but it does mean that it's definitely not a flying fox fruit bat. We need to get rid of that old idea that people, natives or whoever, are just misidentifying this flying fox fruit bat. Seven meters is 23 feet. This is not a flying fox fruit bat. But why did the, this ropen fly over that lake when it's a nocturnal flying creature? Just a few minutes after those seven boys arrived, I know now, what I didn't know when I was on my expedition, when I was interviewing three of those seven boys, I didn't think of this. It's only later, after my expedition, I came to realize what happened with these seven boys? How were they so lucky or unlucky? They didn't think about it as being good luck at the time. They were terrified and ran home. How is it that they happened to get to Lake Pung in the middle of the day, right before the ropen, happened to just fly out over the lake in the middle of the day, a nocturnal flying creature? It's not coincidence they were not lucky or unlucky. It was because, think of it yourself, maybe you can figure this out. I'm not a genius. <laughs> It takes me thousands of hours to figure out something, and, and, and I don't consider myself a genius. But how is it that this happened this way? Well, just pretend like you're one of those seven boys. You're running out there, and you're maybe 12 years old, maybe 14. You're out, you get to this beautiful crater lake up in the mountainous area of their island. And man, there's the, the beach there. What would you do? You're young teenagers. Well, I, th I think what I would do is just have fun, just run around the beach yelling, ah, and just making noise and having fun, naturally. These are humans. That's what human teenagers do. So I believe that they just simply made some noise. The rope and heard it, woke up, and uh, was happening to be there at the time, and flew over the lake at that time. That's very likely what happened. It, at least it's a speculation that fits the facts of what was reported. Remember, I interviewed three of these seven boys. I interviewed them face to face. They were not expecting me. I interviewed them and, and got to learn about them and their sighting and the animal. And I was impressed that they were telling the truth.